Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys and Ryan. Today we're here at uh, Back to the 50s Car Show. And we're here with Mike and we're here with this beautiful uh, uh, Chevy Impala. It's a 60... 63. 63. And uh, oh my goodness. Mike, I don't know what you haven't done to this car, but it is stunning. Thank so, you. thanks for sharing your time with us and, yes. and your car. So, you know, to start with, Mike, how do you get into cars? Why, uh, why not collect something else? Go buy a boat. Uh, I don't I don't like water. <laughs> well, that would be a really good reason besides um, that. I've always just been a car guy. My dad's always been a car guy and always worked on cars. And So uh, you ever work with your dad on cars? Always, yes. Body work? Uh, no, mostly the motor and motors, and mechanical any, things. Yeah, mechanical things. Did your dad? Uh, did, he, did he like rebuild cars? Or no, like... he just likes to fix them and 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 sell them. Okay. <laughs> did he ever? Did he ever work on modifying them? No. Oh, nope. He just nope. Moved, yep. fix them up. Yeah. Yes. But yes. in that process, you learn obviously a ton of mechanical skills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and I think that's just a neat bond between father and son to be able to. Yes. Have that a lot of times, a, well was getting yelled for getting the wrong tools, but, yeah. <laughs> but well, yeah. yeah I, I don't think you did too badly, Mike. Thank you. I, I think this is proof that you, you came out okay. Thank you. I think your father would be proud. So let's talk about this car. Um, Cause I, you know, I learned something, you know, we were talking earlier and I learned something new that I didn't realize. And that is almost every single, if not every single customizable piece is removable. Yes. And you have the originals. Yes, sir. I didn't know that. So if someone came along and said, oh, I'm looking for a 63 Impala, but this one's all, you know, uh, customized out and, I, and I, I want the original. You could say, that's no problem, sir, for an extra 50 grand, I'll put the originals back on. Um, actually, it's not a price for me <laughs> to sell the car. I'm but, trying to help know. you, Mike. You're <laughs> quiet. I'm trying to help you sell it. Okay. Uh, so I, I just think that's fascinating that you can that you can do that and you have all those parts. So when you got the car, tell us the story about getting the car. Well, a buddy of mine had got the car uh, uh, originally. Um, I worked for him for years, and when he passed away, um, his wife had six Impalas, and she asked me which one I wanted to buy, and I picked I picked her. So when you got her, it didn't look like this. No, no, I've done a lot of. A lot of work. I got a buddy that paints, and he he painted uh, Monty Roach, did uh, all the pinstriping, gold leaf. Um, yeah. So uh, so when you got it, what color was it? It uh, was white. Okay. And did it have a motor? No motor. No motor. How about the interior? No interior. No interior. No hood. No hood. Did it have a roof? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we, yes. We got we got something there, Mike. Okay. <laughs> So you really started off with a car that needed a lot of work, just yes. just to function. Yes. Okay. So you, uh, what kind of a motor did you install? It's a three twenty-seven. Okay. About how much horsepower is that? Is that turning out? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never really uh, pushed it. Okay. All right. But it goes fast enough. Oh yes. <laughs> I imagine it does. She has a pretty fast response. Okay, and then uh, you've got uh, hydraulic or air suspension. I got air air suspension. Okay, and is that in the trunk or yes. where is that located? It's in the trunk. It's in the trunk, and then all the controls uh, for it are up underneath are the dash. Under the dash. Yes. Okay, and that is that's traditionally where they go. Is it sort of yes. underneath yes. the dash? Yes. Okay, it's just it's a nice mounting area. Yes. So. What kinds of things can you make the car do with your suspension? Um, right now, it's sitting at a slant. Right now, I, uh, uh, I, I could do up and down, front and back, and then uh, pancake all four. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever tried doing that at like 90 miles an hour to see how that works? No, because no. my, my uh, actual front end hits up. All the way to the ground. Oh, it goes all the way down. All the way, all the way. Okay. My motor is actually sitting on the floor. I, I gotta ask you because um, you've done some, had some beautiful uh, scroll work. Yes. Done everywhere on this car. You set that on the ground. Uh, well, it doesn't really touch. <laughs> your dad's gonna come out, slap your hand, Mike. Don't put that on the ground. Okay, so it doesn't actually. It just looks like it. Yeah, does. it, it just looks really like cool. it. Sure does. Yes. Okay, so uh, you got the car, 
you start building the engine, right? Or mm -hmm. not finding the engine to put in. Yes. Where do you get the interior from? The interior, I had a buddy that uh, worked out of his garage. Okay. And uh, I had him do everything. All right. And so uh, you did, uh, did you do any body work on this or framework? Or? Yep, yep. Uh, it was a uh, complete frame off. Uh, the frame been completely redone. Okay. Uh, body, uh, uh, the rear quarter panel had a couple holes in it that got completely redone. Okay. Um, pretty and much you, everything on the whole car. And you did the you did all the mechanical stuff on the engine. Yes, I I do a lot of the mechanical stuff. I also have a uh, buddy that comes over every Monday. Um, he he's a certified uh, mechanic. Okay. And, and he he makes sure everything's. So so if I, if I'm hearing this right, you're putting this you put this car together. Not, not only with your knowledge, but you had friends who had expert yes. knowledge who were willing to come over and help you. Yes. You must be a lot of nice, you must be a, you must be a really nice guy, Mike. The detail in the scrolling in the fenders and so forth is unreal. Uh, I mean, you'll see it in the camera, but if you look the, from the front bumper, from the very corners, it goes, it, I mean, it, it's top to bottom and it yes. doesn't stop and that's all hand done. It's all hand done by, uh, they're called uh, Crazy Cuttings in Arizona. And Man. They do everything. And, you know, and you'll notice, we'll show you uh, overlay video and pictures here of all the places in the car, but that's crazy. Now, I did notice in the car, it looks like you have, it actually looks really original, except for maybe the dashboard, which is, I think, a Di Dakota Digital. It is a, a Dakota Digital. Okay. But everything else in there is pretty much what would have come on a, a 63 Impala? Yes, yes. Okay, except for, of course, the uh, the, the air control levers. Yes. That probably yes. wasn't a standard option on the Impala. No, and the... In 63. And the big shifter. <laughs> and the big shifter, yeah. I like that. So, uh, on your locks, right? How did you get those? Did you buy those? Find them and buy them? Um, on your locks, on your shift handle, you've got this... All the knobs. The um, multicolored knobs, yeah. All, all the knobs, all the knobs on the inside, um, the air valves on the tires... Um, they're done by Num Knob. Um, okay. I sent him pictures of the car, and he 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 customizes them. And that, now that was the same way you had all the scroll work done, right? And you called up a company in Arizona, or I think it was you guys already said, and they said, uh, "I want a front bumper and a rear bumper, bumper and this plate, this, this plate, yes. even a battery cover for crying out loud." Yes. Um, and you said, and but they find the parts. Yes. That's why you have the originals. Yes, sir. And then they send them to you, and then you just mount them. Yep. This way, if you want to sell your car, you can take off all those custom parts, buy another 63 or, I'm, you know, uh, thereabouts Impala, yep. and put these right back on. Yes, sir. That's nice. It's like a movable, customized car where you can take all the customized parts off. Now, explain the, the, the word Ruby, because we see that in the, the uh, visors. We see it on the license plate in the back. Uh, Ruby is just a, it's just the color. Um, color of the car? Yeah, it's just the color of the car. And I don't know, it all, once I've seen it, it, I just figured it fit it perfect. <laughs> I like uh, it. All my cars have her name, and she, she's okay. Ruby. She's Ruby. Yes. I love it. It's just a perfect fit. Now, all that gold colored stuff that we see, mm -hmm. is that gold colored? Is part of that real gold? Um, it's it, after it's etched on. They uh, they paint uh, on the parts that you don't want gold, and then they activate the chrome with the nickel plating, and it turns it turns chrome yeah. to gold. Okay. Now you're pinstriping on the side. Not actually pinstriping. It's more of a decal. Uh, that's done by hand. Yes. To get that effect, you gotta yes. like stick your finger in there, knuckle, and twist. And it. you gotta twist. Yes. And uh, someone had a sore wrist at the end of the day, Mike. That's, <laughs> a, that's a whole lot of twisting going down that hole. That's a lot of twisting. Because that's not a short car. No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, what's what's one of your favorite memories, Mike, about this car? Um, just the attention she gets. You know, it, you've gotten a little attention as we uh, sat here. Yes, you know she's just um, I don't know, just brings me joy just driving it and and you know just just being you know well it's, it's, I, it's I would hard imagine, to put the words I guess I, I, I'd imagine like any artist yes. I think that's art 
Thank you. And I think what you do in coming up with the design, because even though someone else maybe made the part, you came up with the picture. Yes. So it's like waking up and looking at your own artwork. Yes. Yes. In, in a lot of ways and seeing what you can do. And I think that's part of the joy of doing it. Yes. Is, is seeing that finished, well, let's just call it an almost finished project, because this may be never always completely finished. Nope. Well, Mike, no. thank you so much for sharing your your beautiful car uh, and your awesome story with us. We sure appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.